why you never buy a helmet that doesn't break. Oh, oh. I know that this might sound absolutely crazy, but you guys should never be buying a helmet that doesn't have the ability to break. This was a TikTok video that I was tagged in, and I've already made a video about this before, but we're going to revisit it. These guys run a motorcycle helmet company, and in this video, they're doing a durability test. They're taking a pan right here, slamming it down on some rebar, and the pan ends up breaking. They then end up doing the exact same thing with the helmet that they're selling, and there's not even a scratch. As you can see, there is very minimal damage here. The thing is, a helmet would probably suit you better if it did something like this when you make impact with something or crash. This is because of something known as an acceleration-deceleration injury. Imagine getting into a crash and you hit your head on something. When you do this, your head might be completely fine, but your brain inside of your head is going to end up smashing against the inside of your skull. This can result in hemorrhages taking your life. When these helmets break, what this does is this dispels some of that force so your brain doesn't hit so forcefully inside of your head. But the only redeeming factor for the other brand that we're talking about in this video is if they have good padding on the inside. As long as this padding can compress and help to decelerate your head, you'll probably be fine, but still, it's not really a risk I would take.